Hey everyone, Igor is here, and today I'm going to show you how you can authenticate to the SQL API in KubeCloud using your Google Workspace credentials. And uh, we'll be doing so uh, by using the secure LDAP service that Google Workspace provides. And uh, well, it means that actually the method here applies to any LDAP enabled uh, identification provider. So here on the right, they have our KubeCloud deployment and uh, we can review its uh, data model. You can see that in the kube.js configuration file, there is only one configuration uh, hook redefined. This is the check SQL OS hook. And uh, you can see that what's happening here is we're instantiating a um, lab client and uh, connecting to lab server. And then within the check OS function, we accept the username and password. And what we do with them is first we search for a user with such a username in the kube.dev domain. And if such a user is found, then we'll be trying to bind that user. And this is just a dub term for trying to authenticate that particular user with that particular password. And uh, well, if we can do that, well, it means that that user is authenticated otherwise well, we just we just uh, failed the authentication attempt. Okay, so uh, let's try to see how that works. So I'll be grabbing the credentials to connect to the SQL API from here, and um, obviously we will be providing our password manually. So I'm just removing this PG password and var, and let's first try to authenticate with imaginary user. A, B, C, D, E, F. So we need to enter a password for that user. So I just enter some random gibberish. And apparently that authentication attempt fails because, well, there is no such user on their uh, Google workspace. So we can also check the logs. What we see here, it was, there was indeed an authentication attempt for this user and that user was just not found. Okay, that works. Let's try some different user, and this time we'll be using my username. And uh, here I'm entering my password. Well, apparently it works. Uh, let me try to see which tables are available. Okay, we see one, it's orders. And uh, if I go back to KubeCloud and refresh the page, I can see that indeed there was an authentication attempt for the user Igor. And uh, yeah, you can see that I'm part of some um, email groups and the authentication was indeed successful. And the orders table that we see here is also part of the data model. There is a data model file for it and we can surely query query it in the playground or we can also query it on the sql api site so i'll just be doing select called star from orders it works so thanks that's how you can uh, set up uh, the KubeCloud in a way that you can authenticate to the SQL API using your Google Workspace or literally any LDAP enabled service credentials. Thanks.